Hi everybody! Welcome to the first knitting podcast for Stewards and Stitches, which is me, Jill. <laughs> um, so I've been knitting and crocheting for a while, more on the knitting side than crocheting, but I really do like both. And I thought I would start a podcast because kind of like get into the community and talk with more people and just kind of show everybody like what I've been up to because I've really been enjoying it and I just wanted to kind of like dive in like whoosh, swim in so let's get started okay so I started knitting probably about like I don't know a year ago I, I had learned a long time ago and then I stopped and then I didn't do anything for many many years um, and then I picked it back up about about a year year and a half ago um, I actually learned how to crochet uh, before I learned how to knit and so I had done some crochet stuff but then I decided to pick up knitting and I really really enjoyed it and so that's kind of what I've been doing is just like I do a lot of gift knitting I've noticed I'm not sure everybody feels that way and I'm sorry like this is not my normal voice I probably should not be filming my first podcast when I'm super sick but I just needed to like get it out there and like manifest into the world so this is not what I normally sound like hopefully by the next podcast I will sound like my normal self so I'm really sorry about that however let's just get on with it anyways even though I sound so lovely raspy deep voice okay so I, I i don't think i'm really gonna go too much into the backstory but let's just kind of talk about like what i'm doing so i guess we'll start with some finished objects that i've been doing like i said i like to gift knit so a lot of the things that i've done i don't have here with me so for example um a couple of weeks ago i gave birth to a surrogate baby so I don't have the baby either I gave that away too <laughs> don't look into that I, I don't mean it that way you know what I mean um, but I made a few things for the baby so I'm gonna put some pictures in here I made some hats for the baby and they are super cute I'm not gonna show them on the baby because you know it's not my baby but these are the hats that I made so I made a little eggplant hat a bonnet and then the other one I think was a uh, orange hat. I'll put it right here. I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> I made those and I gave them to the intended parent before they left. And those were so fun to make. Like little baby hats, just they don't take very long. And they're just so freaking adorable that I just had to do it. So do I have any other finished objects? Yes, the one that I have right now actually took me quite a long time. I started it before, like, while I was pregnant. And then the end of my pregnancy and birth and postpartum was just whoo, a wild ride. If you want to know more about my surrogacy, you can go to my TikTok. It's jill.thesurrogate. Um, and depending on when this comes out, I might have already had my birth story up. It might not have yet. Um, but yeah, I will put my birth story up there so you can see what it's like. But what I did do is made a baby blanket. So I don't know if I'll be able to show you the whole thing in here. So like this is a picture of the whole blanket, but I will show you this here and I knit it. I didn't crochet this, I knit it. But as you can see, kind of like show you up close. It's got this garter stitch and then stockinette and then garter. And then I did, here's this. And then it's orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So like I said, this, it honestly wasn't that hard to do. Like once you get into the rhythm of the pattern, then it's pretty easy to do. The back is not too bad. It's just got like the one little like overstitch there. But um, this is just baby blanket size. But yeah, it took me a little while just because I had a really craziness, but I am done now. So this will be sent to my surrogate baby. So that's why I wanted to like get this done, show it. And I'm really proud of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I just pretty much used scrap yarn that I actually already had. I had bought a bunch of colors of yarn, like, I don't know, two years ago. And so I used all of that. So it's just acrylic so that they can wash it and it can get dirty. And I just really like it. I was gonna try to put a backing on it, but I just couldn't figure it out and it was too much work. So that is my first finished object is this beautiful baby blanket. 
Uh, my child was like, is that for me? And I was like, no, that's for the baby. Um, but maybe one day I can make them like a big rainbow blanket, but knitting takes forever. So it'd probably be better to crochet it if I was gonna do that. <laughs> that took forever, but I'm really proud of it. I think it's really, really cute. Um, the next thing I have is like technically finished, but not really. So we'll just say this is a transition from finished objects into whips. Let's call it that. So what I'm going to show you is a technically finished object, but not really. It is this fingerless mitten. So I had gotten some yarn for my birthday back in way in October. And it's um, like this lighter, let me show you. it's this lighter orange color. And then as you can see, there's a darker mohair in there. Um, technically these are, look at my finger. I got marker all over my hand. Whoop. Technically these are supposed to have a flap and then you like, you know, flip it over. But for right now, I haven't done that. And I'm still working on the second one of these. I'm about up to here on the second one and I just don't wanna do them right now. So it is March already. So these will probably be ready for next winter, which is ridiculous. But you know, sometimes you start a project, you just don't wanna finish it. And that's just how I feel about this right now. I will eventually, but it is on hold. We're snoozing that project. Okay, so the next one that I have is a sock. Now, I don't have much. I just started the ribbing on this sock, as you can see. Um, this is a DK weight from my Yarnable subscription that I have, so I will put what it is up here. Kind of reminds me of mermaids. Like, look at this. Look at this colorway. It's got, like, the blues and the, the purples. It just reminds me of a mermaid. Like that's what I see when I see it. So, and look how cute these uh, tip protectors are. They're so cute. They're oranges, obviously. Um, I actually had done about this much ribbing and I ripped it all out because <coughs> I was doing the first size sock, which should fit my foot. However, my legs tend to be a little bit more wide than most people. So when I had the ribbing, it was like stretched to the max and I just was really uncomfortable. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do the ribbing for the hair, the ribbing for the biggest size sock. And then I'm going to decrease down like a few stitches for the rest of the foot so that it's the right size sock, but like the ribbing at the top is a little bit bigger. We're going to try. I've never tried it before, so we shall see how this goes. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, I have one more whip that I'm working on that I almost totally forgot about because it was actually behind my camera. Um, it's inside this little project bag that I made myself. This is actually a Japanese knot bag that I made. So one side is longer, you stick it through and then it goes like this. So if you don't have a yarn minder like this, you could just stick your project in a bag like this and then knit as you're going. So what is this project? It is a hooded scarf that I've actually been working on <coughs> for months. And the reason that I haven't worked on it as much is because of the yarn that I'm using. It's so hard to work with. It's really annoying, but it's super soft. So let me show you what I mean. I am making a hooded scarf by, I want to say it's Pearl Soho. Um, I will leave a link down below for, of course, all of the patterns and stuff. And the hooded scarf is really cool. I wanted to get it done earlier, but I went to Michael's and I had bought yarn that I was like, ooh, it's super soft and it looks really cool. And then I started knitting with it and I was like, this is the most annoying stuff I have ever knit with in my life. Not that I've been knitting that long, but it's horrible. So let me show you. Um, I just got one side done and I just started knitting the increase to start making the hood part. So it's 28 and a half inches long on one side. And then I just started this, but I like, look at this yarn. It's super cute yarn and it's very, very soft. However, this is yarn from Loops and Threads. I will put here what the yarn is. <coughs> 
it is horrible to work with because one it's got almost like that mohair feel to it it's got um i forgot what it's called a halo effect i believe is what they call it so that and plus just the way it is i don't know if i'm going to be able to show this to you all right let's see if i could show you guys okay i'm going to try to show you the best i can if you look at the yard it's got these like loops and threads in it obviously and it's very almost like open it gets caught and you can't like slide through easily um and it's just if you have to rip anything out it's horrible to rip out it sticks to itself but it's like so soft and i want to make this because it when it's done it'll be really really cool because it'll be really soft really pretty i love the colors but it's just horrible to work with so i've kind of been forcing myself to work on it recently um and i've been using these cool let's see if you can get this Lily. i have one that says rs and ws right side and wrong side and then i have this stitch chain like a chain counter they both work really well so that i can count but anyways anyway that is my last whip that i'm working on right now so i'm working on a few at the same time i just can't do one thing at a time so oh well <laughs> okay so those are my whips um, I'm only working on two right now because like I said I was just doing the blanket that was a really big one um, and then I have the mitten and the sock and then I have two more that I'm thinking about starting but they're actually crochet and they're teacher gifts and I want to start them early because I know that they'll probably take forever so what I was thinking is back for Christmas for my children's teachers I made them either headbands or hats and I was trying to think of like an end of the year gift that would just be like one for the whole classroom and like it ends in summer so of course well close to summer um it, it, you can't like make them hats or scarves or like you know that sort of stuff because it's gonna be warm but what I thought is I'm gonna put in here like what I'm thinking so for my youngest is in pre-k three and I thought like they still take naps in their class so I thought it'd be really cool I saw this blanket I put in like teacher blanket on Pinterest and this came up as this idea and I think it's a really cool idea because that way they can kind of use it in their room like if one of the kids wants to just like lie down and take a nap and they didn't have their blanket or you know they want to just like chill out I think this would be really cute so it's like a piece of paper and then you can um I forgot what it's called like overstitch or there's another word I can't think of it but like once you're done with the whole blanket then you can take and I'm going to put their name um this one you could do like a whole letter from your child but I don't think I'm going to do that I'm just going to like put their name on it so that is what my next project I want to do is. And then for my oldest, uh, they are in kindergarten and uh, they're in a special ed class and they don't do naps, but I thought it'd still be pretty cool to do like a paper themed like pillow. So I saw this pillow right here. So it's like, like a piece of paper, but then I saw and then I, th I saw and I thought of the idea of doing the, um, where you take like four pillows and you attach them together like this one. And then I thought I could do like, so four pillows with the paper and then attach them together and then they could set it up in their classroom and let the kids like sit and, you know, play on it. So those are the two ideas that I'm thinking of starting next while I'm doing my sock. And I promise I will finish this, this mitten. I will do it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm going. Of course, I'll probably end up. Oh, and then also another thing that I want to start is the zipper sweater by Petite Knit. I have never made any like sweaters or wearable clothes yet. So I really want to try. So what I did is I went and bought just a cheap acrylic yarn to kind of test and play with. I didn't want to buy an expensive yarn for the first time that I'm making a sweater and then if I screw up and I got a cut or if I have to like rip it all out or do something like I'll feel bad if I'm like ruining or wasting the yarn so I just bought cheap acrylic yarn to kind of like do a test knit of trying to make my first wearable and then if I really like it I can redo it again 
in a nicer yarn. But like, I don't have tons of money to just spend on a bunch of yarn and then it doesn't work out or I don't like it or whatever. So I'm gonna try the zipper sweater by Petite Knit. I'm gonna do it in orange because orange is my favorite color. And we shall see. So I'll keep you updated. I haven't started that yet. I have the yarn, but I haven't started that yet because you know, sickness. <laughs> Okay, I want to show you some cool things, some notions uh, that I have gotten over the past couple months that I am really enjoying using. Okay, so the first one, I don't have like the hand strap. It's inside somewhere. I don't know. But I have this mini minder. This is from Lemonwood. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There you go. Lemonwood. I know that they have these mini minders everywhere, but this one was a special... Um, I don't know if any of you follow Gigi from Gigi Made It. Like, like she's all orange and like, she is who I aspire to be when I'm older, just ducked out in orange all day, not caring about life and just going on with my bad self. So she made a mini minder and here's what it looks like. It is so cute. I freaking love it. So of course, as soon as she came out and said she was doing that, I was like, bought. I used um, an Etsy gift card that I had from Christmas and I bought it. And yeah, so what I do is I put my yarn on here and then I can, it just kind of like keeps it nice and in one place and I can either put it on my wrist and just kind of like knit as I'm going or I can like hook it up somewhere or I can even just set it in my bag or even just set it on like the table. It doesn't set properly like this but it still works and so I've been using that quite a bit and I really like it uh, the only thing that I would say that I wish that they had is I think I've seen sheep stitch I could be wrong I'll see if I can get the right name up here somewhere but they have one similar to this but they have where you can put like a base and then set it on the table and then it'll just wind like this Whereas this doesn't have that. So if I wanted to use it just like sitting on my table, it'll like wobble around. It still works, but I wish that they would make a base to put on this so you could set it on your table. Just, just a suggestion. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, um, I bought <laughs> one of these. If you guys are on TikTok, you'll probably have seen this everywhere. So it's really nice because you stick your phone on there. Like you, here, you take this, you stick it on, you click that in, and then you can put your phone right here, and that can help you so that you can film when you're like knitting. But what I can use it for too is if I'm knitting and I don't want to hold my phone and I don't want to set it down somewhere, I can stick my phone right here and then I can sit and knit, knit or crochet. <laughs> while my phone is right here. I actually find this really useful to just like stick my phone on then I can walk around my house. So, you know, it's not necessarily a knitting notion, but it is really handy. So, you know, let's see if I can find a link for this. Um, I got it from TikTok, so. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, this is the yarn from this. It is Here We Grow Again, March 2024 from Yarnable. Um, one of the next things that I got was actually from Christmas, but like, it's so adorable. I got this case and I will link down below the Etsy shop that I got it from. They probably won't have this one specific because they just do all variety, but I got like cactuses and alpacas, I think it is, llamas. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's super cute. So it's got a magnetic uh, closure. And then what's nice about this is it's big enough that it holds two sets of knitting needles. So I have a Chiagu, Chiagu, whatever. Tell me down below. How do you pronounce it? I forget every time. Um, and I also have a Knitter's Pride set that is, of course, orange. Um, this set is actually, again, from uh, Gigi from Gigi made it. She made an entire knitting needle and crochet hook set that you could have bought. It's from Jimmy Beans Wool 
Yes, I think so. Um, I'll put it up here so you can see. And of course I bought it. It was kind of expensive, but I used birthday and Christmas money and I bought it. So what's nice about this uh, case is that I literally have, open up case. I literally have like most of my needles from both sets and the cables. And then this has a zipper right here that you can open up. And I have a bunch of like stoppers and stitch, uh, uh, stitch markers and stuff in there. But I put almost all of my needles in there except some of the really thick ones like my uh, 13s I think because I just don't use those needles that much. So those ones I kept out. But like all of the smaller needles I have in here and I have all of my cables for both sets. So I really like that I can do that because that I just pretty much have almost all my needles I need at once all the time. So this has been really, really nice to use instead of the case that they came in. I much prefer this, it's smaller and I can take it with me if I need to. And I just wanted to kind of end of like, you know, some notions that I got with some really cool uh, tip protectors that I got. So um, I actually got this, <laughs> isn't this case cute? It looks like a little book. Um, it came with a necklace that my surrogacy agency um, got me for my surrogate baby. And it came with a necklace inside. But this is cool and I use it to put my notions in. I actually have another... I don't know... Okay, um, my other little one that I have is this one. So this is a little zipper bag that I got in one of my Yarnable subscriptions. And that holds everything pretty much everything that I use on a daily basis for my knitting. If you want to know what I keep in my notions bag, let me know and I can make a video about it because this is like perfect. Um, this, this one keeps like extras, but I wanted to go through with some really cute tip protectors that I've got because I just think they're so cute. Like, do you guys use these? I know some people don't and I made a whole TikTok about this, about how people just live on the dangerous side. <coughs> and they don't use tip protectors. I don't understand. But like I said, I had these oranges and then I got some cute pineapples. Like how cute are these little pineapples? And then <laughs> these are my oogie oogies or my boogie boogies as my kids call them, but they're, they're from Nightmare Before Christmas, oogie boogie. Like how cute are those? And then my last one, are the golden girls stay golden yeah <laughs> so those are my tip protectors that i've gotten um and kind of like some of the last things that i've picked up recently uh if there's anything that you guys want like a review of or like its own video for me to talk about please let me know and i will make that okay guys sorry about this freeze frame i actually uh, my, my camera stopped recording, the battery died, and so I didn't get to film an outro. So thank you so much for watching my first name podcast. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>